Welcome to Little John's Yards. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make this quick and easy crochet choker. This crochet choker is worked up in six quick short rows. You can probably finish this in 20 minutes, give or take, depending on how fast that you crochet. I'll leave some a video over here of what it looks like from one of my TikTok reels, how it looks like worn. All right, so I'll get into the materials. We'll be needing a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, and I'm also using crochet thread, Aunt Lydia's uh, fashion thread, bleh, excuse me, Aunt Lydia's crochet thread fashion three. And since unfortunately this is in dark yarn and white yarn was also hard to see, I give you the option of another yarn. This is Yarn B's Cozy Toes. Uh, this is in the color maroon. I wasn't exactly sure what weight yarn this was, so I pulled out my uh, wraps per inch, and this is a lace weight yarn. Just so you know, it will be a different size. With the Fashion Thread 3, from here to here is uh, 11 inches. On the uh, lace weight yarn, this is 10 inches across. Just be aware exactly how big it is. All right, so we got into the basic of this. Let's hop directly into this tutorial. To begin, you're gonna start with a very long tail. I have about a foot and a half long tail. This tail is gonna be used to help tie around the neck of for the choker. All right, so next, we are going to chain 50. And make sure you don't chain too tightly because we're gonna be working back into this chain. So you can pause your video here and continue to chain 50 chains. Once you do, we're going to start up on your very first row. For row number one, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. This row is super easy, and we're just going to single crochet in each chain all the way across. All right, so you can pause your video here and continue to place one single crochet in each chain all the way across. We made it to the end of row number one, and to start row number two, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn your work. Your chain five is going to count as a double crochet and a chain two. So what we're going to do next, we're going to skip two stitches. Remember, this one counts as a stitch, so let's skip two more. Let me back up so you can see. Skip two more, one, two, and we're going to double crochet into that stitch right here. So I'll count one more time. This one is the first stitch. Skip two, one, two, and we're gonna double crochet into that next stitch right there. And that's basically gonna be our pattern, re all, pattern repeat all the way across. We are gonna chain two, one, two, and skip two stitches. Let, this, let me get this right so you can see. Skip two stitches. One, two, and double crochet into that next. It's very hard to do on the very first two rows. Ugh. All right, so pause your video here. Continue to place two chains, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next. Two chains, skip two stitches, double crochet in the next. So pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the very end of this row. We've made it to the end of row number two, and now we're about to start row number three. We're going to start by chaining one, turn your work, and for this row, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. I'll show you the first few stitches. So we're going to single crochet back into that very same stitch here, and in your chain two space, you're going to place two single crochet. One. Two, and on top of your uh, previous rows double crochet, you're going to place a double crochet. So that is your pattern repeat all the way across. Just place a single crochet in each stitch all the way across until you make it to the very end. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it almost to the end of row number three and you should come to that chain five space. Remember that counts as a double crochet and a chain two. So let's put our two single crochets into the quote unquote chain two space. One, two, 
and the top of the chain three, you're going to place a single crochet. One, two, three. To finish off the row. And that is the end of round, not round, row number three. So we are going to chain one and turn your work for row number four. We're going to single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to skip four stitches. Let's count. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to single crochet into the next eight stitches. One. Actually, pause your video here and continue to place one single crochet into the next eight stitches. All right, we complete those eight single crochets and we're going to start the pattern repeat again by chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And single crochet into the next eight stitches. Remember, that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way across. I am going to write this pattern up above so you can follow along. So pause your video here, continue with the repeat, and I'll meet you when you're almost at the very end of your row. We've made it almost to the end of row number four, and you should have eight stitches left. I did my last chain six. So we're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and this time, we're just going to single crochet into the last four stitches. Let me count off again. One, two, three, four. I'll work those with you. One, two, three. This yarn is very bungy, <laughs> stretchy, whatever word you want to call it. And four. All right, we completed row number four, and this is what your work should look like so far. All right, so to begin row number five, we are going to chain one and turn your work. We're going to single crochet into the next four stitches. So that's back into the same stitch. One. Two, three, and four. Now we made it to our chain space. In the chain space, you're going to place nine single crochets. So pause your video here and continue placing nine single crochets into your chain six space. We've completed those nine single crochets into the chain six space. So to keep this pattern simple, all you have to do is place one single crochet in each one of your single crochet stitches and nine single crochets into your chain six space. I'll say it again. Single crochet into each single crochet, nine single crochet into your chain six spaces. So complete that and I'll meet you at the very end of this row. We've made it to the end of row number five and now we're going to chain one to start row number six. So let's turn our work. We're going to single crochet into the next seven stitches. I'll be working all these stitches with you. So go back into that same stitch. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. We made our way onto the arch. 
Now we're going to perform, perform, <laughs> we're going to create a pico stitch. We're going to do that by chaining three, one, two, three, and we're just going to stick our hook right back into that single crochet again that we just made and make a slip stitch. There you go. Now we're going to start doing another little pattern repeat. We're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Another pico stitch, chain three. One, two, three, uh, three. Go back into that very same single crochet. It's hard to see the yarn get dark but go back into that just made single crochet to perform a slip stitch. There we go. And now again, we're going to single crochet into the next three. One, two, and three. Pico stitch one more time. One, two, three, go back into that single crochet to perform a slip stitch. There we go. So this is what it should look like. You have three little pico stitches stuck on your little arch. Now we're going to place one single crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, pico stitch, chain three. One, two, three. Back into that single crochet to create a slip stitch. And your pico stitch is done. All right, so let's start this pattern repeat all over again. So this is where I'll write the pattern above and this is what you'll follow. So. We are going to single crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We made it back onto the little arch and we're going to create these three picots on this arch again. So chain three, one, two, three, pico stitch. Single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three, let me get some yarn. Pico stitch again, chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the next three. One, two, three. Pico stitch. One, two, three, slip stitch. Now we're going to single crochet into the next five stitches. I lost where my stitch is. There it is. <laughs> One, two, three. four, and five. Pico stitch again. One, two, three. And that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way across. I know that probably sounds confusing, but there is some rhyme and reason to the math behind this. I will put the pattern up above. If that is still confusing, I will put the beginning of the pattern repeats timestamp above with it. So you'll have your little picos here and a little pico in between your arches. 
So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the very end of this row. I just completed my last pico stitch on the arch and I'm just going to single crochet in the remaining stitches. So after we do these last uh, single crochets, we're going to start working on the uh, straps, the ties for your choker. Okay, here's our last stitch. All right, you can either have buttons or whatever you want to create this choker, but I'm just going to create a chain that ties around the neck. So I'm going to pull these two sides together. I want you to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I want you to slip stitch into that very first section right here. And it creates this little pocket. Turn your work. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next two chains in the chain that we just created. Let's see if I can get closer. We're working our way back up the chain. One, two. All right, see how it creates this little triangle right there? That's all I wanted you to do. Now you can probably chain about 30, one, two, three, and fasten off your work. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So pause your video here and complete it on this side and on the other side with your chain. We've completed one side and remember you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Remember that tail we left at the very beginning? You're going to insert your hook and start with a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the very bottom of this section over here so you can get that nice little triangle. Turn your work and we're going to slip stitch two stitches on your chain. One and two. Now we'll do a third one. I feel like that one's not in the center. There we go and continue to chain to create the uh, strap. All right, so when you're done, just fasten off your work and you're all complete.